We're about to test the Blue Eddy AC200 Max out running a window unit. I did the same test with the same window unit the other day. I had it plugged in directly to the AC200 Max uh, with no solar or anything, and I ran it for two and a half hours. So without any expansion batteries or anything. Today, with no expansion batteries, but hooked up to the solar, we're gonna run that same air condition. The only difference is I'm gonna have it hooked up to the transfer switch instead of directly plugged in. And then we're gonna time it and see how long we run it. The other day we did it for two and a half hours. We should be able to run it a lot more today with the solar hooked up. I have 1100 coming in. I have 800 coming in through the regular solar hooked up right here. You can actually have 900. I have 800 coming in through there. And then I have another 300 coming in through the, the DC enhancer. So it's a total of 1100 watts. We have it on, we have to turn on the AC inverter. AC inverter's on. We're fixing to swap over to that breaker. All right, this is the one that breaker's on. I'm gonna turn this light out here in a second. The light's actually pulling from the Blue Eddy, but we're gonna turn that out so it's just the air condition running. So we see it's up and running now, so we're gonna go turn the air condition on now. This is the air condition we're gonna run. The other day I had it plugged in directly to the AC 200 Max. Today we have it plugged into the transfer switch, which feeds this outlet here. We're about to turn it on. I have it set on high cool. We're gonna let this rest it's set just like it was the other day when I ran the uh, the test. But we're gonna see how long we get with the solar hooked up. And we're about to go see how many watts we're pulling right now with it. So right now it's pulling 695 watts. Uh, it's still 100%. It's not gonna start pulling solar once it drops some to 99%. So uh, we're gonna let it run for a little while. And then uh, once we start getting solar charging the battery back up, we'll see how things are going there. Like I said, when we originally did it, we run it for uh, two and a half hours, not hooked up to the solar without an expansion battery. If you add one expansion battery, that would have been uh, five hours. If you would have added uh, two expansion batteries, you could have got seven and a half hours. That's without hooked up to solar. Today we're hooking up with no expansion batteries to the solar, and we're gonna see how long we can run it running off the solar today. So now we're down to 99% and you can see the solar, the solar is starting to kick on now. So we're gonna let this run for a little while and see what happens and the time is now 9.15. So we'll check back in a little bit. It's been about an hour and five minutes. And let's see where we're at. So we have 82% of the battery left. Uh, the air condition is pulling 824 watts. Uh, we have 155 watts coming in through the solar and through the uh, DC enhancer, we have 53 watts coming in. It's kind of cloudy out right this second. I've been getting some, some different numbers with it depending on where the sun's at. So we'll just come back and check in about another hour and see where we're at. All right. So it's been a little over two hours now. Let's see what we're looking at. 67% left on the battery. Uh, air conditioner's pulling 850, around 850 watts. I've got this light that's pulling on watts also. Um, got, we have a mixture of clouds, so right now we got five, a little over 600. It's bouncing around, coming in on, with the 800 watts. And the 300 watts I have hooked up to the DC enhancer. We have 200 and I've seen it up to two, already two once, so it's kind of bouncing around everywhere. So we're going to let this run for about another hour and see where we're at. Well, we got a little rain starting to come in, which I'm not too upset about it. Um, I'm going to let this keep running. I think this is just going to pass over. Kind of happy to see the rain, so we're gonna let it do its thing and let it uh, we'll keep running that air condition and keep bringing in the solar. We're gonna see what kind of watch we're pulling in with this rain coming in. All right, 
right so it's raining pretty good out there right now so we have on the 800 watts i got coming in we're looking at about 45 watts and then the 300 watts well, you can see there's 15 watts coming in now but like i say it's raining pretty good outside so uh, i don't know if you can hear it or not but it's hitting the roof we're gonna let uh we're gonna let this keep running we're gonna check in about an hour and see where we at and i think this this shower is probably going to pass but i'm not too upset about it because we could definitely use the rain here all right all right so we have uh 600 watts coming in now the, the clouds broke we're starting to get a little sun again uh, we got 600 watts coming in our 800 watt setup and then the 300 watt uh, solar we got 225 watts coming in air condition is pulling 735 watts so uh, we're going to let this run and see how things are going so it's been over three hours now we have 58 percent of the battery left uh, that air condition is pulling 940 watts we have 598 coming in with the 800 solar array and then with the 300 we have 213 coming in so it's been a little over four hours now and uh, we have 53 percent of the battery left we have 600 watts coming in through the 800 watt setup i have and then 202 watts coming in through the 300 watt setup and uh the air condition is pulling 890 watts. It's I actually seen it pull like 930 for a little while. So we're gonna let this continue running. I'm gonna let it run until at least three o'clock. And then after that, I'm going to shut the air condition down. But uh, we'll see where it's at uh, in another hour. So we've been running about six hours now. So we're gonna see where we're at on the AC200 Max. We have 23% left on the battery. We have 550 watts coming in through the 800 watt solar array. We have 179 watts coming in through the 300 watt solar array. The 300 watts is starting to get into the shade now, so that's gonna start fading away. The 800 watts is still pretty good sun, but we all day it's been partly cloudy. We've been getting good sun, then we've been getting clouds. And as you've seen, we even had a rainstorm in the middle of it. The air condition is pulling 950 watts. And I'm gonna stop it here. So that's six hours there. Without it hooked up to solar the other day, we did two and a half hours with hooked up to the solar. We have done six hours and we still got some more to go, but I'm gonna turn it off now and just uh, let it start recharging back up with the solar. Um, as with anything, we're gonna have a link in the uh, comments below. So if you're interested in that Blue Eddy AC200 Max, you can get on our webpage and shop around. We'll have that in there along with some other brands and some other size units. Max solar you can bring in is 900 watts. I have 800 watts hooked up in the solar input. And then with the DC charging enhancer hooked up, the max you can bring in them is uh, 500 watts. We have 300 watts coming in. So I could have got another 300, another uh, 300 watts coming in with 1100 is what I have set up. So that's what we went with today. Uh, thank you for taking time out with us and watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you later. I'll say one more thing about the air condition. This is the Medea 8000 BDU. Different brands, different sizes, it's going to use different watts. This one, the most we was pulling about, is about 950 watts. And the room I have it set in, it is a really large room. And it keeps it cool in there, but it does not cycle like it should. So it never does get really cold in that area. It just cools it off. So, uh, different size air conditioning is going to be different, different wattages. I have a smaller unit that I can run in the bedroom and I could have run that one all day and I would have been a hundred percent charged with that battery by the end of the day. And it cools that bedroom off really good and it'll cycle like it should. So I just wanted to mention that about the air condition. Smaller units going to use less watts, larger units going to use more watts. And then the different brands So the Medea actually seems like they do pretty good with, uh, energy. They're, they're pretty efficient. Different brands gonna use different amount of watts. Just wanted to mention that about the air conditioning. Thanks.